We're gonna make a party next door type beat. We're gonna be using the sounds from Arcade. I'm using the laptop as a MIDI controller. I will also draw in the MIDI. Make sure everything is uh, in default. And what I'm looking to do is just find some effects for transitions. Okay, so now let's play this back. That's good right there. That's plenty of change up, plenty going on. I don't want to. You can't let it get too crazy because we still need to um, let the artists jump on it and do their writing. You don't want those transitions to be a distraction. It's just to create bounce and more of a, you know, just more of a feel. You know. All right, next sound. So what I'll do, I'll just tap this off like that. I don't keep these, I really don't need to, that's just the way I work, but if you did, you could just go here, start a new screen, save it, if you ever need to revert back to it. Um, and if you do need to save these MIDI screens, make sure you see this label, make sure you render it. Again, the shortcut is uh, Shift Option 3, see how it changes the identity of the file. That's where you can let it be stashed over here. 
otherwise um, you just lose it so now let's look for uh, a pre-hook part so basically the part B of the verse so I really like that See how the reverse sounds at the end. it in the mix. to see how this sounds on a different key let me see so we're going to change this to polyphonic and we're going to go to elastic properties and drop this minus five so it stays on key you know it stays in the same scale <laughs> There we go. All right, let's find one more sound for the hook. All right, here we go. There's some vocals in here somewhere. Don't kill me. All right, so let's just maybe that'll be pitched up. So we have a little more, um, gotta use more uh, of the spectrum. So now that I have that mid and low end, I want something high to stand out for the hook. And we're still in half time, so let's take that off. Let's go back to default. Just look at the sample itself and see if this part's I don't want. So you notice how the MIDI notes are short, so it only plays a piece of the sample. So let's take that out. Let's drag this out so we can hear the whole thing. Okay. 
I just like that beginning part. So we'll just play that part. And so what we're gonna do is I'm pretty um let's just meet this for now. You lied to me. I like that part. Yeah, so I like the voice because it almost sounds like it's on a phone. You know, it almost sounds like a conversation now. There's definitely some pain in this right here. Let's take the metronome off. All right, that's good right there. The kids usually have a percussion. See, maybe we can have time this. So this definitely has to be on some slow So what I'll do is I render that into my hats and I'll use it like a little rhythm percussion thing in the background. We gotta mute this because we're listening to two things at the same time. So that would be the verse. that so next we're gonna do the drums all right now it's time to lay down the drums so let's do four bars first Thank you. 
Here we go. Uh. that transition like that one last note to bring everything back around That's it. Beat is done. Those will be the drums, the bass, and from here I'll just take it to mix mode, uh, arranging. You know, obviously, and the beat is done. So I'm just gonna hide and uh, deactivate and hide the sounds I don't need, the tracks that I don't need, just for visual purposes. I'll take these off up top. That is it. The beat is done. <laughs> 